Let's see what Sandwich Week has in store for us today. Mark, I heard by the time you finish making this, there won't be much room left. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get it? Oh, no, terrible great, dad joke. Great segue into the mushroom sandwich we're doing Thank today. You. You've got my back. So, <laughs> so it's a vegetarian sandwich. You know, it doesn't all have to be sort of meat and fish in there. So we're going to make a beautiful, um, packed, full of mm. flavour vegetarian sandwich. And we've got these beautiful portobello mushrooms. We're going to marinate them. We're going to roast them off. We've got some cheese on there. Nice bit of basil pesto as well. Brilliant. And uh, lots of fresh vegetables and a little vinaigrette on top of there and some toasted bread. Sounds awesome. Eh? No, and I'm loving sandwich week. Everyone loves a good sandwich so we'll get into this very soon. Great to have you with us. We're in the Beko kitchen for another special sandwich creation from Mark and today we're celebrating the mushrooms. So what are we <laughs> marinating the mushrooms in first Mark? Right, so we're just going to do sort of a, a basic vinaigrette. Right. So we get some acidity in the mushrooms. Yum. So marinate them. Probably want to do it for about half an hour because uh, mushrooms are like sponges so they're going to suck up all that flavour and then we're going to roast them and then uh, build the sandwich. <laughs> okay, right, good. so olive oil. Yes. So some nice olive oil there. And then we've got a couple of different um, vinegars here. So red wine vinegar. Red wine were, vinegar? Yeah, I think you were looking at this before and going, oh, it's chilli oil. <laughs> but it's not. It's red wine vinegar. You know, I you get a nice fresh, freshness from that. And balsamic vinegar as well. So you get a beautiful flavour from the balsamic vinegar. It works Yum. really, really well with mushrooms. So all you need to do, just mix it up. And it's great to, you know, just put it in a bowl, do it with a fork, and it really mixes really well. Yeah. Easy. Right, a little bit of garlic as well. That's just going to help. So, just going to crush that. You know, you can peel it or not, doesn't matter. You're just using the garlic for flavour. Right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, get our mushrooms. So, we're just going to take the stalks off. Oh, you don't okay, want so the stalks? No, no, so they're nice and flat. Okay. Great. And then it's going to help us build our mushroom a little bit later. Ah, I see. Okay, so take those off. And then what we're going to do, we're going to lie, lie them, um, you know, the gill side down into a tray. Gill side down. Yeah, and then yep. you can give that another, another good stir. whisk. And yep. then you can pour pretty much three quarters of that over the mushrooms. Okay. Okay, and that should, that should be enough to build our sandwiches. Right. There you go. And we're just going to save a little bit of that dressing as well. And then when we slice our tomatoes and put a layer of tomatoes on the bread, we're just going to do a little drizzle of that on as well, just so we get that extra sort of flavour through the Shall sandwich. I the, shall I put the garlic in here? Yeah, 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 put the garlic, garlic in. It's all flavour. Yeah, right. yum. Right, bread. So, just do some nice slices of bread. You know, it's beautiful sort of sourdough here. Mm, yeah, well, I am too this morning. You know, you can use whatever bread you want. I've got a bread maker, but it's one of those things at home that I hardly ever use. I was going to say, do you ever use it? No, I, when I first got it. It's like, it's like most of those things you buy. <laughs> I've got a bread maker. Yeah, but it's you called Tim. <laughs> that is luxury, isn't it? It is luxury, yeah. No, this is good because Sandwich Week's inspiring me to, you know, use the bread maker again. I love fresh bread. I love sandwiches. And it's great. And, you, and, and those bread makers, you, you can chuck it all in and you can set a timer, can't you? Yeah, and it, and it, it bakes, it, bakes it through the yeah. night and then you wake up in the morning and you've got fresh bread. I mean, yeah. that's pretty cool. Good idea. I need a Tim, though. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah that's, that's definitely better. <laughs> it's the future. All right, so we've got some bread. So we just cut it, you know, nice and thick. It's nice fluffy bread as well. So, so you don't want to go it too thin, otherwise it's just going to fall apart. And you drizzled some... I put a little bit of oil on there. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of salt on there as well. And I put just a tiny bit in the pan as well. So a nice hot griddle pan. Yeah. And what we want to do is we're toasting it. Okay. So the hotter, hotter you get your pan, you get your nice uh, bar marks on there, and it'll toast it. But we're still going to be left with this nice fluffy bread in the centre. Brilliant. I've got another pan hot here. Yeah. This is very hot. It's very hot. Yes. And um, we're just going to put a bit of oil in there. I'm going to start cooking the mushrooms. So we'll just pretend we've um, marinated, mar for marinated them for about half an How hour. How long do you say half an hour? Yeah, a good half an hour. Okay. You know, just just at room temperature as well. You know, okay. and it'll just they'll just soften up. So just be careful, because obviously there's a bit of vinegar in there and a bit of liquid. So when you put it in the hot um, pan, you know, just make sure you've got your excess dressing off there. Oh, it smells good. But this but this is what you want. You want a really hot pan. We want to get that colour. Two, three minutes, we'll flip it over, and we'll, so we'll just keep cooking that. And then it won't take too long, and then uh, we'll come back, the bread will be toasted, and then we'll uh, be able to start building. Excellent, we'll come back for some more uh, mushroom jokes, because I'm a fun <laughs> guy. <laughs> anyway, we'll get the next steps to this mushroom sandwich very soon. And things are smelling incredible here. Our bread's looking good, so we've got a little bit of colour on that. Yeah, that's it, so we flip that, so we're just going to lightly toast the other side. Mushrooms, you can see that hot pan, we've got a beautiful colour there. And it's releasing all the flavours and smells. Mm. Flip it over, and then I've just got some cheese here. Oh. So you can use your favourite cheese. Um, you know, to just sort of like a, 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 well, for a better word, rubbery cheese. Oh, know, yeah. And then it'll just yeah. hold together and just cool. melt around over it. Uh, so that works really well. You know, like a cheddar or a even a brie or a mozzarella yeah. or a provolone or anything you like. You know, you could even do blue cheese. You know, it works oh, really true. well. Blue cheese and mushrooms. Blue cheese and mushrooms. Mm. 
So I've just flipped them over again. Just the heat of their mushroom will just slowly start melting them. If you want, you can pop them in there, you know, under a hot grill or just in the oven if you want just to just to melt a bit more. Okay. But you should have enough heat there to, right. to, to start the melting process. And you cut your tomatoes that way? Yeah, I'm going to cut them into nice rounds. Is that, uh, is that the standard that way. way to do them? Oh, you can cut them however you, yeah, you, however should, you well, like. Well, no, because it makes a difference, doesn't it? And sort of it's all, it's all about shape. Handle. Yes. <laughs> It's all about shape, you know, so we're going to get the bread, so grab okay, the bread cool. and we'll start building some of these. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Right, so we've got the bread, so top, top bottom. Um, what we're going to do first, I'm going to put a little bit of pesto on there. You know, you can pop some butter on there if you want or, or not. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of flavour and there's a lot of moisture on here, so you don't actually need any butter right. on this. Right, we'll turn that off and pop the mushrooms on. It's unusual oh. for you to say that, Mark. Oh, I know, I can't yeah. believe I've just said that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need butter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, so you, we've got your mushrooms on. Yum. Put a couple of tomatoes, and you can see, because we sliced them like that, you know, they're just fitting inside the... Um, perfectly. Perfectly inside there. So, stir the dressing up again. Anytime yep. you use a vinaigrette, always stir it or shake it before you use it to mix everything together. A little bit of that to season those um, tomatoes. A little bit of salt on there. <laughs> and, <laughs> no. A little, little bit of lettuce as well, but you know, just leave it in chunks and that's going to give us a beautiful um, crunch as well for it. A little bit more pesto, just on the top layer, and then match it up, pop it on there. Look beautiful. Quite a nice hearty, that, full of flavour vegetarian sandwich there. That is amazing, yum! I love sandwich week. Cannot wait to eat this. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. And if you like the recipe, just head along to our website where you'll get all the sandwich week recipes. OK, now it's over to Mark. You'd never do that with an avocado, especially because they're so expensive at the moment. What are they? Like $6 oh, each. Yeah, Jesus, you couldn't do that. It's like gold. <laughs> look at this sandwich, though. You could put avocado in here as well. That'd be really nice. But look at that. Look at the layers, the cheese. Mm. It's packed full of flavour. Yeah. And I'm going to get you to try it now because it is... Ah, oh, doesn't it? Amazing. Fantastic.